Toyota Harrier was closely similar to the Lexus RX in its first two generations, with the former being offered solely in Japan due to Toyota's failure to debut the Lexus brand in its home market until 2005. Meanwhile, the RX was for everyone else outside of Japan, and it was especially popular in the United States, where it established a long-lasting history that has been proudly flaunted ever since. Despite the fact that the Harrier was not officially offered outside of Japan at the time, it was clearly popular, as seen by the amount of grey imports that made their way to other countries. Despite the fact that the Harrier was still in its second generation in 2008, the third generation RX had already become a standalone model. The new Harrier has a more distinctive exterior than its predecessor, and it drew quite a few eyes from passers-by during our time with it. Call it paradolia, but when we looked at the SUV from the front, we got the impression that the designers were pretty serious about the whole bird of prey thing. The Harrier is named after the Eastern Marsh Harrier, also known as the Chuhi, which is unique to Japan. The dashboard is dominated by a diamond-shaped center console modeled after a horse's saddle, which is now tall enough to serve as a separator between the front seats. The dashboard and door cards include faux leather trim and stitching. A dimmable electrochromic panoramic glass roof and a computerized rearview mirror are among the novel features. No one expects the full 12.3-inch center touchscreen found in Japan, so the car makes do with a 8.0-inch screen with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and plenty of bezel. Under the hood is a 2.0-litre dynamic force four-cylinder, also found in the RAV4 and Lexus UX. It makes 173 PS and 203 newton meters of torque. The NA engine is paired to a direct-shift CVT that sends power to the front wheels. The previous-gen turbo model used a conventional six-speed automatic gearbox. Thanks for watching and give your comments below.